Yo, my peoples. <laughs> so, um, I often reflect on a lot of different um, patterns and energies and psychological conditionings and things that move through me and that I sense around me. And here's a piano come over here. Come on. And one of the things that I um, have, have recently been really considering and I've considered for a long time is this sense of pathologizing um, people, people's emotions, um, their actions, their behaviors. Um, I mean, we, we also even like pathologize our pets. And what I mean by pathologize is we make it we tend to have this um, core belief that there's something that is wrong with us, and it kind of it comes from this place of lack, um, where um, like it's a problem that needs to be fixed. So it's like if there's a relationship issue between two people, right? We see that relationship, and it also has the sense of like objectification. Um, we see that relationship as a problem to be solved. Or if there's an issue within the relationship, we see that issue as a problem to be solved. And we, when we start viewing our relationships and the people around us and their emotions and their behaviors as a problem to be solved, um, we are actually... And by problem to be solved, I don't mean like, so like say there's a mathematical equation in front of you and you're trying to figure out like the X value or whatever the equation or problem is, right? So like in terms of that, it's like a math problem is like um, a curious, um, a curious uh, insight or looking into how something can come to be, right? So how this equation can come to be this and then it makes sense almost symmetrically or geometrically or on a logical mathematical level it's like it makes sense of things right so like another example would be like um some people like things to be like organized a certain way and it creates like a geometric form right so like um if you've be ever been interested in like mandalas or mandalas, I don't know how you say it for sure, but, or um, snowflakes or things in nature that have like this symmetrical way about them, like where they're in, uh, even the human body, we have a left and a right. Um, and we tend to be at least somewhat, right? Or mostly symmetrical. And what I find interesting is that that comes from more of a natural, curious, um, beautiful, not that this pattern of um, pathologizing isn't beautiful, but what I'm trying to say is that the pattern of pathologizing um, is just not as helpful on the level of the heart for helping others to really come to their center and to find themselves and to find um, rest and relaxation. And so um, I think that's really like an important thing to consider because like looking at my own situation, so my health crashed like really hard. I started having health issues around the age of 20 and then I started doing research and started figuring out that I had autoimmune and along with some doctors, they had run some tests and I had autoimmune symptoms. And even back then, when I was doing all that, I kept saying to myself, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me, right? What I'm realizing now is like, all of the symptoms that were there were actually a perfect patterning of nature in a way. They were a way of nature to kind of like, it can be feel kind of odd to say it this way, but like a mathematical equation to consider and be curious about and see how the pieces fit together. It's like when you're doing a puzzle, you try one piece and you try another piece and you try another piece and it's kind of like interesting and then you kind of look at it and you might have to adjust it again, right? 
And it's the same kind of thing, really, with our health and our relationships and the things in our life is that, like, we're going to, like, have pieces of the puzzle that don't fit and we need to try another piece, right? And a part of the, the ability to do a puzzle, right, is that the relaxation or, like, the, the helplessness that we're in um, in order to do the puzzle, like, the, the larger space that we're in, right, in order for the puzzle to unfold or to get put together in the way that it's meant to be so that it has, like, a sort of harmony to it. But on the way to that puzzle of becoming harmonious, there's a lot of disharmony, right? There's a lot of puzzle pieces that you try and they don't fit. And you're looking for one thing and it just doesn't quite work out like that. So you have to try something else. And in that process, right, of trying things and them not working, um, then we come to find out what does work. And I really do feel from my heart that that allows for more space of trial and error, right? So like error and making mistakes is a natural part of life. And so the more we can be at ease with that and learn through our mistakes in terms of like, we make a mistake, we see it, and then we're like, oh, like that was just a mistake. The more we can learn, like the, and we can unlearn, right? So like, what I've noticed about myself is like, I had such a strong impulse to not only not be wrong, but get it right, but also not be like the bad one because of the conditioning and trauma that I experienced when I was younger. So I would often like, and I still do at times, obviously patterns are like so deeply ingrained that it's not something that just like overnight snap, you're there and then the pattern's gone. Um, they can actually come forward in different dynamics with different people in different situations that maybe reflect a situation from when we were younger. Um, so it's not really this, like what I was saying from the beginning, we're not pathologizing the patterns, we're not making the patterns wrong. That's a, a part of this, right? It's like they're a piece of that puzzle that we're looking at, we're seeing, oh, does this part of the puzzle fit right here or right here? And how does it go together with the whole, right? How does it fit within this whole puzzle? And so in the space around the puzzle, right, that allows us to do the puzzle is important as well. And so... Um, the cool thing is this can be applied to anything, really, like our health, it can be applied to our relationships, it can be applied to our jobs. And it's a lot, it's very heart-centered. It's a lot about coming to the um, recognition that what we really need to be able to unfold our psyche and our mind is like this open space and a certain amount of... Um, okayness or warmth with what is here like that it's okay that like the last three pieces of the puzzle were not the correct pieces like that's that's part of the learning of doing the puzzle now for me this has been really difficult actually to learn this because i was so caught in the i gotta get it right and like pathologizing me as a person my symptoms my psyche and the way that i would react to people in my um patterns that it's taken some time to soften around those things and there still are areas where it's very um it is still somewhat a pathology or pathologizing that's happening within my psyche psychology and so um I just wanted to talk on this topic of pathologizing and how it can really harm us at the heart level and how like really an open heart and coming from the core of our, ourselves as well it, from that heart space really over time can help us to shift into a more opening within our mind and um, more of an okayness at the base level as well, like an okayness with the way that things are. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I really want to talk about for now, but there are a lot of like related topics to this and like, um, this idea of like doing it wrong or right instead of seeing things as like a synergistic whole that fluctuate, um, you know, things fluctuate and they move and like there are a lot of factors that affect us in many ways you know, from 
the planetary alignment to the microbiome of the core of the earth or not the core of the earth, the surface of the earth to weather patterns, to um, changes in seasons, to their um, position where we're at in our lives in terms of stage of development. Um, and because there are so many different factors that can affect us, um, really trying to stick anything in an absolute way as to how we should do it or what we should do is not necessarily very helpful. And at the same time, there are some core aligning principles that are important for us to understand or un unlearn, uh, to help us unlearn some of the things that we maybe were holding on to before. Core aligning principles, um, which are things which are always available to us, um, is what I mean by that. So like, no matter what the planetary alignment is, no matter what the state of my body is in, no matter what state of health I'm in, that that core alignment is always there. And so, yeah, I think I'll make that the end of this video for now. Um, I do really like the topic of pathologizing and what that looks like for us and how we tend to pathologize things in general. If you have any ways that you would like to share um, or that you feel like yeah, like this pathologizing thing is something that I recognize in my life and in what ways. Um, that's cool. Like it's fun to share and it also helps us to transform when we can hear others' perspectives, I think. So um, I just thank you for um, letting me share and for hearing me out. And I will say goodbye for now. Adios, amigos.